What's going on, y'all? Harris Lou back here uh, at the old garage. It's been a while. I think last time you saw me, we were uh, putting conies on this bad boy right here. So uh, today we have some rear conies for this uh, old Calypso. So currently, Calypso has the uh, Raceland coilover setup, and uh, it's great for the front. It's adjustable. Um, it makes the car sit very nice. As you can see, there's very minimal fender gap right here, which uh, everybody loves. But right now, the back is super bouncy. The ride quality is terrible. Um, and I haven't had any complaints on Gramps, but uh, right there you can see the box of conies ready to go. We're, uh, we're gonna make some room. We're gonna pull Gramps out and uh, let it get some sunlight this afternoon and uh, kind of reposition this thing, get it up on some jack stands and uh, throw some rear struts in the back of it. So. Uh, here we go. So, in Grants, we're gonna pull it out. Still love this car. It hadn't gotten much love lately, but uh, this is, you know, the Coney equipped, the most comfortable riding car I have right now. Um, Calypso looks cool. The, the stance is great, but uh, right now the comfort's not where Gramps is, um, but you know, it's uh, the, the old Gramps is, has been on the YouTube channel and been on my page quite a bit um, and uh, expect some cool stuff coming this summer as we uh, kind of pretty this interior up and, and do some of the same things we did on Calypso. Now that we got it up in the air, I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, the wheels off so we can have some room to work and uh, get up in here and, and start popping this uh, this old strut off. Well, it's, it's not old, it's just not great. Um, the strut that I have currently is adjustable and uh, I've cut the bump stops, I've done everything I could think to do. The ride still stinks. Um, Emily, when she's riding with me, uh, we'll be bracing herself for bumps and uh, gritting her teeth, and uh, it's not a not a good comfortable ride. Um, but then I hop in Gramps, and it's a whole different story. Um, Gramps is smooth; it's more rigid, um, but it doesn't rattle your teeth out. It doesn't make you hate hate yourself for driving the car. So uh, I want to be able to throw this thing into a corner and not have the rear bounce around, not have any kind of skip or wheel hop. Um, so I. Uh, Reached out to my friends at Coney, and uh, they've been great to me for the past year and a half, coming up on two years. Um, and uh, they hooked me up with a set of Coney yellows for the back of this hatch. And uh, it was a two or three month wait. I know, you know, 2020, you know, a lot of people were at home. A lot of people had time to, to do projects and uh, upgrade their suspension. So it was good to hear that, you know, a lot of people chose the Coney yellows and that I had to, to wait a little longer than usual. Um, but they're finally here. Took a couple of months, but well worth the wait. Um, and riding around on those old uh, Raceland rear struts really is going to make me appreciate the comfort that uh, these new conies are going to provide. All right, folks. So uh, just like last time when we uh, did the rear struts in the vert, um, if you saw that, we uh, had to take this nut off the top hat here. I think the pros figure these the tools out first before they decide to do that. Um, so it's a uh, 11 sixteenths. I'm gonna have my handy dandy DeWalt impact here. So that the strut's not just spinning. And uh, there you go, it's easy as that. Well, what you're gonna need is uh, an 11 sixteenths wrench and a 5 8 socket and uh, you get under here and start loosening it up and it should come right off. So. There's that one folks. As you can see, it's pretty much uh, no rebound whatsoever. So that might be why uh, I'm having such a hard time here getting uh, a good ride. And now they have been on the car 
for I would say two or three possibly four years I did this during the Calypso comeback and then it sat on these for quite a while um, but yeah as you can see right now there's no rebound whatsoever so I'm sure I was just uh, you can see all of the all of the marks here where I was just bouncing off the bump stop uh, which is never good oh gosh yeah that's no that's no bueno whatsoever so uh, we'll do the same thing on the other side and then we'll get these put back on and ready to go Oh, interesting piece of information here. This one definitely has more rebound than the other. Um, the other still hasn't really come up as far as this one did. This one actually, when I took the bolt off the bottom, it uh, extended down itself. So the passenger one <laughs> definitely had more rebound than the uh, driver one, probably causing some of that uh, horrible ride and, and some of that bounce that I was having. So here we go, guys. Got your Coney box. Uh, Got my keys here. Wanted to show you the goods before we get them in the car. Get them up under the car. Um, it's always cool to see how they come straight out the box. And then the beautiful Tony Yellows. I mean, you really can't beat that iconic look. When you peek up underneath somebody's car and you see these, you know they've spent the time. They spent the money, they really care about how their car rides. Now that both of my rear struts are off, we can go ahead and start putting these yellows on. Um, as you can see, Tony, once again with the graphic art, they have these awesome instructions um, with the cool little illustrations, um, show you how to adjust them, how many turns are, are what, and, and really how to dial them in. That uh, Shout out to the graphic artist that does these, they look super classic. Um, we're gonna slide this up in the, uh, the, the top hat hole and then try our best to compress them up so we can get that bottom bolt on um, and get them set. I don't know if this camera angle is any good, but hey, I'm on the floor and uh, got a second cam over here. I'm trying to get a little more professional with these. Step my game up, you know, you got folks like Gearhead 704 and Brutal and of course Caleb with the Foxcast that make this job look so easy and uh, props to them for doing it every day and uh, keeping us Fox Body guys entertained. I'm just an amateur. Um, I take pictures. When, is it, when the pictures start moving, that's when I start losing talent. Um, but thank you for watching today. Thank you for Coney. Thank you to Coney for, you know, being a part and letting me be an ambassador for the past year and a half. Um, and thanks for watching me fool around with tools. I'm not the best at it. But uh, hopefully this video looks good and, uh, you know, camera two, camera one, check, check. Um, I can put some good content out there and, um, you know, try to compete with those guys. But if you're, if you're not following Gearhead 704, Brutal Vlogs, and, you know, Caleb from the Foxcast, my dude, my homie, um, all three of them really, thank you for supporting me. I know you see I got Lou Creative on. I got the Lou Creative hoodie on. I got the Calypso hoodie. Um, that goes with this car. Um, if you want to support me in any way, shoplucreative.com allows me to make the stuff that I'm making. Allows me to sit on this floor, talk to you guys, throw some parts on back and forth, and you know, keeps people like Coney on my side and keeps people supporting me for the retro meet for, for everything that I do. So thank you for watching. Um, go check out those folks I mentioned and uh, check out shoplucreative.com. Figured I'd bring y'all down here with me and we get up close and personal with uh, this shock mount right here. So See, uh, I'm gonna go the same thing I did on the other side, which you saw from above. And I'm gonna knock the crap out of my head on this drum brake. I'm gonna try to keep everything out from underneath that drum brake because these are Harbor Freight jack stands. So as you can see, put the bolt through. Gonna compress the shock. Don't forget to put the washer on the other side like I did last time. Slide it in through your shock mounts. Got your nut down here. Put that on. That's how it's supposed to look. Right there, beautiful conies. That's how you do the bottom. Now let's put the uh, the bushings. I forgot to put the bushing in the top. Son of a mother. Anyway, don't forget your bushing on the top. So I'm gonna have to undo this and uh, then put the bushing 
on the top top once it goes through. But you saw how to put this in. I'm not going to show you again. Just remember, slide your uh, your rubber bushing and your washer on first before you throw it up in there like this. Or you'll have to do it again like me. So uh, once again, I'm an amateur. Go watch somebody that does this every day and knows what they're doing. Um, but if you're still here, thank you. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll show you how to do the top next. Now that we're on the top side, you know, you have your bushing washer and your bushing. Slide that down, try to move your insulation around a bit so you can get a real good seed on it. And then uh, we have the hardware that Coney gave us. I got my handy dandy electric impact, which I would recommend because you're not supposed to hold this strut still with anything. So using a pair of vice grips is a no-no. So get it hand tight and then use your handy dandy impact wrench.
my driveway as most of you know from my previous videos um, and as we'll hit that right about now with the front and it just hops right over them in the rear no no noise no bottoming out no more uh no more issues so uh i'm super pleased i'll throw in some b-roll um kind of finish off the video show you some beauties but uh thank y'all for watching and uh go buy you some coney yellows if you're having suspension problems on your fox That's a wrap.